What if I told you that accepting a friend request on the internet might expose you to dangers like this? We need to talk face to face or I'm gonna be dead! Or when your social media accounts exposes you to threats like this. You will not stop me from sending messages! I will not stop and I will destroy you! So try stopping me! You die! I will kill them all! All of these you see and many out there are the results of cyber stalking. And these stories you are about to see are gonna be hard to watch and they will make you question humanity and the internet. Because with so many of our information out there on the internet, people can now easily find our profiles and stalk us. Just like what happened to Christine who accepted a harmless friend request from an old classmate and then started to receive dangerous videos from the guy. Email me today. It's up to you now. Save your own life. And that's not all. He would confess his love to her. Why do I like you? I don't know. Because you sat in the class and you did this. Mm -hmm. I have no idea why I like you. I don't even know you. He would ask to meet her. We need to talk face to face or I'm gonna be dead! And he would even threaten her. You don't want me for a life? That's a very, very unwise decision. Don't make me do something stupid! Anyone who stands in my way will be guilty of treason! And he does all of this with one mission in mind. I've been sent on a mission to make Kristen Pratt feel warm and fuzzy. And to make things worse, he would go and find Christine at her workplace and at her home. Christine was so scared that she would change the way she looked every two months just so that she can be unrecognizable to the stalker. And the worst part of cyber stalking is that it can happen one day even without you knowing it. Like this guy who met the love of his life and decided to stalk her that day. I was at the gallery one day and this guy shows up, I kid you not, in a uh, spacesuit, comes up to me and then he looks me in the eye and it was just so chilling, I'll never forget it. And he goes, and I'm gonna stalk you. And from that day on, he started messaging her on Twitter and emails her saying that he is Jesus, Superman or God, and that she doesn't want to make him angry and she'll obey him, if not, she will regret it. And after calling the police on him and even news stations telling him to stop, he still would not stop. I'm an extremely dangerous person. No, I'm Jesus Christ. I'm a God and I have real divine powers. I will use the power of God to destroy anyone who opposes me. You will not stop me from sending messages. I will not stop and I will destroy you. So try stopping me. You die. I will kill them all. And all of these doesn't just happen to normal people like you and me. It can even happen to celebrities like this YouTuber whom you may have heard before. Show me down, but I won't fall. I'm so who became more famous after appearing on TV. And although this was a good thing for her career, she did not know that there was actually a man who was so obsessed with her that he went to change his looks, went for laser surgery, and even became vegan for her, already planned to go to one of her shows and take her life away so that he can be together with her in heaven. The good news is that all of the men who committed these crimes has been put to jail. But sadly, it can never remove the pain and sufferings from these victims. Do you ever think you'll live a normal life? No, no. Um, there are times when I still have nightmares. And their loved ones. When a friend dies, it's so confusing. Because that's not supposed to happen. Which is why I want to ask you this. Is the internet safe? or is it dangerous? We can all agree that the internet is great because it creates opportunities such as connecting people together, giving entertainment and even making our dreams come true. But it can also create bad opportunities such as threats, stalking and even lives being lost. It is a constant fight between good and evil in the cyber world and it is our choice to choose which side we are on and decide for ourselves how we should approach the internet. So with all of that being said, I ask you again, do you think the internet is safe or is it just a recipe? 
for danger. <laughs>